Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, today I was just going to show you a quick tip, uh, something that you can buy uh, that will make stripping your models easier. Uh, I made a stripping model video way, way a long time ago. Um, it was one of my first time stripping models. So um, it took me a long time and the models had to sit for a very long time. So I wanted to show you something that can speed up that process, make it a lot easier and make the uh, paint come off the models a lot um, more quickly, that type of thing. Um, so basically this is a ultrasonic cleaner. You can buy them at your heart local hardware store. Uh, this one is Central Machinery. Uh, it costs me, with tax, $87. Uh, it's a 2.5 liter um, drum inside there. And uh, basically what you do is you take your models uh, you place them inside and then you take a cleaner, a degreaser, whatever you want to use. Some people use brake fluid, some people use simple green. Um, you could try soap and water, I doubt anything will happen. Depends on how weak your paint is. Um, don't use paint thinners because, simply because um, in my experience it melts the plastic. It's too harsh and it can damage the model itself. Um, you can use those. Um, you might be able to use um, oh, it's like simple mineral water or something like that. Um, mineral spirits. You might be able to use that, but I would do some research first. Uh, there's a stuff called Detol that works really well that a lot of people suggest. Um, but personally, I stick with Purple Power if I can. Um, it's given me the best results at my local hardware store. They only had Simple Green, so I used the last of my Purple Power, watered it down a tiny bit um, to get it get it full and over the models. And I'm just going to run that for what I as many times as I can, without it becoming too diluted or without it being too full of paint or whatever. So, anyways, uh, really the only tools you need are a toothbrush your cleaner and this thing right here. So basically what happens is an in, inside an ultrasonic cleaner and I don't know if you can hear it squealing, I'll put the mic up to it. There, and sorry about the house there. But um, I don't know if you could hear some of that, I'm sure you could, it probably was really annoying. But it basically creates a vibrating motion inside here. Um, for the purposes of making consistent motion inside the liquid that's inside here. So basically everything inside there is just doing this really, really quickly and it's being pounded from all sides by ultrasonic waves. Um, and basically, and it's going to be kind of hard to see, but you see how the water is just kind of consistently moving, bubbling like that. So basically those models are in there being bombarded by waves. Um, waves and waves and waves of uh, the ultrasonic waves inside the cleaner. So the cleaning additive, you got your motion additive which helps speed up um, what's going on inside here. And then on top of that the models are just barely bumping into each other which slowly chips off small amounts of paint. It will not hurt the models, they're not bumping into each other hard enough for that. Um, but basically this thing is just a multiplier. Um, I honestly had had these models sitting in purple power for about three weeks now. Um, part of it is I just haven't had time to get to them. Uh, the other part is I wanted all that paint to come off. Um, and I'm kind of worried because I used Army Painter Spray and uh, it looks like the paint is not coming off those guys, which kind of pisses me off because if it's an Army Painter Spray... <sighs> I don't know if it's it's something that's meant to be stripped. It's something that's meant to come off if you want it to come off. You know, I shouldn't have to take a metal brush to a plastic model to get the glue to come off. So I don't know. I'm kind of irritated with Army Painter today, but um, that's why I stick to Citadel or Vallejo. I don't own any Vallejo, but I've heard it's ten times better than Citadel, and I wish I would have started with it. But um, yeah, so that's what I got for you guys today. Um, I might do a before and after video for you guys on how it works and stuff like that. But I just wanted to show this thing to you. Just got it today. Pretty proud. Hoping it works out. Uh, but basically what I'll be doing over there is um, I have my computer set up. 
be playing EVE Online or whatever I'm doing, and just while I'm doing that, I'll come over here and keep resetting the timer roughly every whatever, however long that is, five, ten minutes, whatever. And um, it'll basically slowly eat away at that paint, and I'll do this for about an hour. Pull everything out, scrub it down with a toothbrush, that way it's a hard brute force to get everything off, and then I'll put it back in there for the small detail, hopefully the rest of that paint will come off of those models. So anyways, that's uh, my little bit on ultrasonic cleaner. I like using purple power, and yeah. So anyways, guys, have a nice day, take it easy, and I'll hope to see you again soon.